All right. So from our comfortable seat, which is where we shall start tonight, I'm sitting up on a block. That is completely optional. You can also choose to sit up on a blanket or a folded towel and try and find your sit bones so that you can find those two spots that sort of ground down into whatever you're sitting on. And then think about getting nice and tall through your spine, lining your shoulders up over your hips. Gaze up at the ceiling, stretching out the front of your neck. And then exhale, bring your chin to your chest, stretching out the back of your neck. Inhale, gaze up at the ceiling. And exhale, chin to chest. One more time, inhale up, exhale, chin to chest. Come back to neutral. We're gonna do that east-west. So look over one shoulder and then exhale, look over the other shoulder. Inhale back, exhale over. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Come back to center, drop your right ear towards your right shoulder, feel the stretch through the left side of your neck, and then switch sides, and switch sides. Again, breathe in. And exhale, switch sides. Bring your head back to center. So your neck should feel loose and stretched out. Now see if you can align it with your spine, sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders are over your hips. Reach your arms out into a T. Flip your palms like you're stopping traffic on either side. Feel the stretch through your forearms and around your elbows. And now flip your palms so that your palms are facing your body. Inhale, stop traffic. Exhale, palms face your body. Inhale, stop traffic. Exhale, palms in. Reach the fingertips straight out and away. And now bring your hands all the way up overhead with your right hand circle your left wrist and then lift up and exhale over to the right. Come back up to center, reach your both arms up, left fingers around your right wrist, reach up and then exhale over to the left. Come back to center, right fingers around left, reach up, bend to the right, and then look back over your right shoulder and then up to the ceiling. Exhale, twist, look back over your right shoulder and then up to the ceiling one more time, twisting through your torso and come back straight up to center. Switch left wrist or left fingers around right wrist, reach up, bend to the left. And now twist your torso, look over your left shoulder, gaze up at the ceiling, look back over your shoulder and up at the ceiling, look back over your shoulder and up to the ceiling. Come back up to center, let your arms float all the way down. Roll your shoulders back, feel your shoulder blades kiss each other and now move them forward, letting your elbows lift up as you make this giant movement with your shoulders. All right, from here, we're gonna remove whatever we're sitting on, if that is applicable to you, and come into our tabletop position. Lining your fingers up underneath your shoulders, pointing pointer fingers forward, hips are over your knees, drop your belly, big inhale. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, round. 
Inhale forward. And exhale round. Come back to neutral. Reach your right leg back behind you. Rock back and forth over your right toes. You might have some popping and cracking, and that's okay, as long as there's no pain. Now lift the right leg up behind you, flex your foot, and then notice if your back swayed and lift your belly button so that you're coming back into that flat tabletop back. From here, float your left arm up, coming into a balance. Press your left shin further into the mat. Hold here. Now we're going to draw our knee to our elbow underneath our belly button and then extend back out. Knee to elbow. Extend back out. Knee to elbow. Extend back out. Now this time we're going to bring our arm out to the side, our leg out to the right, and then back straight. You can cactus your arm as you pull it to the left. And then back straight, feeling your obliques, feeling your waist. And back straight. Now lower your left hand, bring your right leg over to the left. Plant all five toes into the mat. Press your toes down and start to look over your left shoulder, deepening a stretch through your right hip. Breathe here. Notice if you're sinking into your shoulders, find that space, find that length. One more breath. And then drag the right foot back and return it into your tabletop position. Turn your fingertips out to either side of your mat and sway right to left. Turn your fingertips towards your knees and sway back and forth. You can even pull the, the heels of your hands up off the mat as you let your hips track back, your bum track back to your, yeah, your hips track back to your heels. Having some body part issues today. All right, turn those hands back around. Reach your left leg back behind you and rock back and forth over the toes. Lifting out of your wrist, press into all your fingertips, all your knuckles. Beautiful. And then come back here, lift your left leg up, flex your heel, leg should be at hip height. If your back sway, draw your navel up to your spine. Think about lengthening from your crown of your head to your tailbone. Reach your right arm forward and find your balance. Staying here. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Hold here. Pull your right elbow to a cactus as your left leg goes out to the left. And then straighten back down. Pull the right arm out, left leg out. And back to center. One more time. And back to center. Right hand floats down. Left foot comes over to the right. Look over your right shoulder. Press all five of those toes into the ground, finding a big stretch through the left hip this time. As you press the mat away from you, gaze over your right shoulder. And now bring everything back to neutral. Curl your toes underneath behind you. Walk your hands back, sitting up on your heels. Interlace your fingers. Flip your palms. Press the air away from you. Inhale up. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale up. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale. Exhale, round. Walk your hands forward, keeping your toes curled. Start to peel your hips up, coming into your downward facing dog. Pedal your feet, right, left, left, right. Let both heels get heavy. 
press the mat in away from you, really finding that L shape with your thumb and your forefinger. Reach your hips up behind you. Lengthen your arms, rotate the armpits, eyeballs up towards the ceiling. Take another breath here. We're gonna float the right leg up behind us, draw the right knee all the way forward, slide it up between your feet. You're in a low lunge. We're gonna lower the back knee down, reach our arms up. Keep pressing our hips forward, coming into a crescent lunge. So there's a small back bend going on here. Take one more breath here and then exhale. Hands come all the way down, back into your downward facing dog. Let those heels get heavy, stretch out the backs of your legs. Now step the left foot up between your hands, lower the right knee, reach the arms out and up. Crescent lunge on the other side. Let your hips stretch. Exhale your hands down, step back to downward facing dog. Pull forward into high plank, hold here. Lift your belly button up to your spine. Think about rotating your upper arms forward, gazing straight down, shift your weight back into your downward facing dog. Float your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot all the way forward. Lower your left knee down. Untuck your toes. If you have tight hamstr hamstrings or you like blocks, go ahead and get those now as you shift your hips back towards your heel. You can bring the blocks to either side of you or out in front of you. Flex your right toes up to the ceiling. Find a deep stretch. Think about lengthening your spine. So this is a big hamstring stretch. And then roll forward, place those blocks back out to the side, step back to downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward. Locate the blocks if you're gonna use them. Shift your hips back towards your heel. Flex your left toes up to the ceiling. Lengthen your spine, nice and long. Notice if your hips are off to the side and see if you can get them straight. One more breath here and now roll back forward, weight, uh, weights, blocks off to the side, wrong class. Step back to downward facing dog. My morning hip class, we use weights. Breathe here. All right. We're gonna step our right foot up between our hands. We're gonna lower our left knee down with the blocks placed on either side. You're gonna press up into a crescent lunge and then exhale hips back into a hamstring stretch. So I'm gonna use my blocks for balance as we shift back and forth from one pose to the other. So rock forward onto your right foot, gaze up at the ceiling, and then exhale, shift your hips back, gaze down at your knee. Rock forward, crescent lunge, exhale back, hamstring stretch. One more. And back. Place your blocks off to the side and step yourself back into your downward facing dog. Breathe here. Test your balance. Can you lift your right leg up? And now lower it down. Lift your left leg up. And now lower it down. Turn your fingertips to either side of your mat like we did in tabletop, but doing this in your downward facing dog. You may need to bend your knees a little bit. 
And then return your fingertips to the front, bring your left foot forward, lower your right knee down, set up your blocks, open your heart up to the ceiling, crescent lunge, exhale back, hamstring stretch. Forward for crescent lunge, exhale back for hamstring stretch. Left leg straight, left toes up to the ceiling. Sole of the left foot on the floor, heart opens to the sky. Keeping your hips straight as you shift back and forth. You're on that railroad track. Inner thighs are working for balance. Last one forward. And last one back. Slide the blocks out of the way as you come forward, plant your hands, step yourself back into your downward facing dog. Widen your feet just a little bit and now take your left hand and reach for your right thigh, knee or ankle and look under your right armpit taking a twist. Come back to center downward facing dog, pull forward to plank, hold here. Finding your strength. If you need to walk your feet back, that means your down dog is too short. And now without moving your hands or feet, lift back up into your downward facing dog. Take your right hand and reach for your hip, calf, or ankle. Twist and look underneath your left arm. Release, pull forward into plank. This time, lower your knees, untuck your toes, lower your chest all the way down. Lift your chest, baby cobra. Bring your forehead back down to the mat. Reach your arms back behind you, palms facing up to the ceiling. Lift your chest. Come back down. This time, reach your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, lift your chest. And come back down. Release the grip. Press yourself up into either plank or knees, chest, chin, and we will meet in downward facing dog. Gaze forward at your hands and start to slowly walk your feet all the way up to meet your hands. Coming into a forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, stand all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, hands down through center by your side. Check that your feet are parallel, hip distance apart. And then we'll do a half sal sun salutation. So inhale up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward, and then reach all the way out to come back up. Exhale, hands down through center to your side. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold back forward. Inhale, your arms out all the way up, palms touch. Exhale your hands all the way down by your side. Last one, inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold forward, warming up the backs of the legs, warming up the spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, hands down by your side. Breathe in, find your stability. Shift your weight into your left leg. Lift your right foot up, coming into your tree pose. Holding here in your tree, reach your arms out to the side, maybe up to the ceiling. Palms touch or palms open. Notice if you're swaying your back, draw your belly button in, lengthen your tailbone. Take one more breath. And then slowly let everything come back down to the ground. Shift your weight to your right leg, peel your left foot up, place it on the inside of your right thigh. 
reach your arms out to either side. Lift them up overhead, palms touch. Keep them there or open. Pressing down with your right big toe, pressing your right leg against your left foot. Lengthen your spine. And then slowly release everything down. I like what my shadows are doing. Come back to the front of your mat. Inhale your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your right foot back, low lunge. Inhale your arms up, press and lunge. Hold here for breath. Exhale your hands down, step back to plank. Lower your knees. Lower your chest and chin, untuck your toes, baby cobra. Exhale back through tabletop into downward facing dog. Breathe here. Float your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot forward between your hands. Inhale up, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands down, left foot by right foot. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, palms touch. We're gonna go right back down, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left leg back. Inhale up, crescent lunge. Inner thighs need to work for balance. Take a breath. Exhale, palms down, slide the right foot back. Lower yourself all the way down to the mat. Two, three, four, untuck your toes. Baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. Breathe here. Step your left foot forward. Inhale up, crescent lunge. Take a breath. And then hands down, right foot meets left foot. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, palms touch. Exhale, your hands down by your side. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right foot back, low lunge. Inhale up, crescent lunge. Hold here. Exhale with your blocks, straightening both legs, coming into pyramid, straight spine. Rebend your left leg, move your blocks out of your way, step back to plank. Go through your version. So maybe you're ready for a chaturanga, upward facing dog, and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Breathe. Put your right leg up behind you. Step your right foot all the way forward. Place your blocks there for later. Inhale up, crescent lunge. Exhale, straighten both legs. Reach for your blocks if you need them. Pyramid, straight spine. One more breath. Rebend your front knee. Step your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Right back down again. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left foot back, slide your blocks into place if you're gonna want them. Inhale up, crescent lunge. Exhale, straighten both legs. Hands on blocks or on the floor, nice long spine, square your hips, gazing straight down. And then re-bend your right leg. Step back to plank, go through your version of your vinyasa. And we'll meet in downward facing dog. Pausing here. 
And now step your left foot forward, set up the blocks, inhale up, crescent lunge. Exhale, pyramid, hands on the blocks, long spine, letting that back heel get heavy. And then re-bend the left knee, slide the blocks out of the way. Bring your right foot to meet the left. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands down by your side. Find your balance between your right side and your left side again. Slide your right foot up into tree. Bring your hands to heart center. Draw your right knee forward and then cross your right leg over your left leg. If possible, hook your right foot behind coming into tree. Reach your arms out to either side of you and then bring your left arm under your right, twisting your hands or letting the backs of your palms meet. You can lower down here. Maybe you're even ready to fold forward, bringing your belly towards your thighs. Sitting your hips down, squeezing your legs together, and then slowly reverse out of that fold if you took it. Unwind your arms, unwind your legs, bring everything back to stand. Slowly breathe here. All right, bring that left leg up into tree. Bring your hands to heart center. Find your tree pose, pressing your leg and your foot against each other, finding that opposition. And then draw your left knee forward. Bend your right knee just slightly and cross your left leg over your right, maybe twisting it all the way around, maybe not. Some days yes, some days no. Reach your arms out into a T. Bring your right leg, on, right arm under your left arm, lifting your elbows up so they're in line with your shoulders. Sit a little bit lower. If you're ready to experiment, folding forward, lying your belly on your thighs, gazing straight out in front of you. Squeeze your inner thighs, activate your glutes for balance, and then slowly come back out. Unwind your hands, unwind your leg, come back to stand. Squeeze everything together like you're coming into one straight line, like the letter I. Feel the entire sole of each foot connecting with the mat. If it's comfortable, close your eyes. One more breath here. And now inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. Choose your version of your vinyasa. So knees, chest, chin. Or maybe you want to go all the way down, all the way up, halfway down, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. Press into the L shape of your hands. Let your heels get heavy. Bring your ears in between your biceps. Let your spine get long. Take one more breath here. Put your left leg up behind you, bend your left knee, open your hip. To make sure you're not twisting your torso too much, maybe even gaze to the right. Restraighten that left leg, square your hips, and now slide your left foot all the way up between your hands. Pause here. Inhale up, high lunge. Woo! Little wobbly today. 
Bend your right knee and then straighten your right leg. Bend your right knee, straighten your right leg. One more time, bend and straighten. We're gonna turn our right heel down and open into our warrior two. From here, we're gonna straighten our leg and then melt back into our warrior two. Straighten and let our hands touch overhead. Exhale, melt back into warrior two. One more time. And melt back into warrior two. Straighten your left leg, turn your toes towards the right. Bring your hands to your waist, stand up nice and tall, hinge forward at the hips. Gaze straight down. Pressing into the outer edges of your feet. Hands come to the floor. Breathe here. Bend your right knee. Bend your left knee. Bend your right knee. Bend your left knee. Come back to center. Bring your hands to your waist. Lift yourself back up, squeezing your butt. Open yourself back into your warrior two. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. And then cartwheel yourself down. Step back to plank. Hold the plank for a breath. Choose your vinyasa. So maybe it's a double push up, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, and hold. Float your right leg up behind you, bend your right knee, open up your right hip. Restraighten your right leg, squaring your hips to the front. Slide your right foot all the way up between your hands, lifting your arms up, coming into high lunge. Bend your back knee, straighten it. Rebend it, straighten it. Keep your hips square to the front of the mat. Last time. And now turn your left heel down, open yourself into your warrior two. Sink lower and then lift up, palms touch. Exhale, melt low. Inhale, lift up, palms touch. Exhale, melt low, palms touch. Come back to warrior two. Straighten your right leg, turn your toes to the left. Bring your hands to your waist. Breathe in, exhale, hinge forward. This time, let your head come all the way down to the floor. Feel a deep stretch through the backs of your hamstrings. Breathing here. Bend both knees and then straighten. Bend both knees and straighten. See if you can get your hips parallel to the floor, your thighs parallel to the floor, and then straighten. Bring your hands back to your waist, squeeze your bum, stand all the way back up. Open back into your warrior two. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Cartwheel your hands down, step back to plank. Go through your vinyasa. Meet in downward facing dog. Float your left leg up behind you. Open your hip. Restraighten your leg. Draw your left foot all the way forward. Up into high lunge. Bend the back knee, straighten the back leg. A little bit of strength and straighten. One more time, open into warrior two. Sit in your warrior two, sink deeper. Scoot your foot forward, sink a little bit deeper. Now straighten, 
palms out and lower. Bring your wrists up to touch. Exhale, press it back down. Wrist touch. Exhale, press back down. Now we're going to turn, straighten our leg, turn our left toes to the right. We're gonna bring our hands to heart center. We're gonna bend our right knee coming into a skandasana, so your left toes turn up. Then we're gonna shift through center, right toes turn up. Shift back through center, left toes turn up. And one more time back through center, right toes turn up. Come back to center, stand up. Exit back into your warrior two. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, Peaceful Warrior. Come all the way through Peaceful Warrior to side angle, bringing your left arm to your left thigh and reaching your right arm up past your ear. Sitting deeper here. Take one more breath. Come back to Warrior Two so that you can gracefully exit into a plank. Go through your version of your vinyasa. Extra push-ups, extra plank hold. It is all up to you. Maybe it's knees, chest, chin. Find your back bend. And then we'll all meet in downward facing dog. Take a few more breaths here. And now float your right leg up behind you. Open your right hip. Square your right hip off and draw your right foot up between your hands. Reach your arms up high lunge. A little bit of strength. Tap your left knee down, extend your left leg. Tap your left knee down, extend. Tap your left knee down and extend. Open up into warrior two. Adjust your stance if you need to. Sit deeper. Sit a little bit deeper. And now bending your arms, bring your wrist to touch, and then exhale, press it all back down. Wrist touch, exhale, press it back down. Wrist touch, and press it back down. Straighten your right leg, bring your hands to heart center, turn your right toes to the left. And now drop your right hip, towards your right heel, flex your left toes, switch sides. Left hip towards left heel, flex your right toes. So back and forth in this side lunge or skandasana. One more time, each side. And then come back through center, back into warrior two. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, Peaceful Warrior. And now slide into side angle, right forearm on right thigh, left arm moves up the left side of the body to extend out past the head. Breathe here. Exit into Warrior Two. So you can cartwheel yourself down into your plank. Go through your version of your vinyasa. Knees, chest, chin, full chaturanga, extra push-ups. Take a back bend, take a child's pose, and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Rotate your upper arm bones. Try and get your ears between your biceps. Float your left leg up, open the knee, and now step the left leg all the way forward. Reach your arms up to the sky. Tap your right knee down and lift. Tap it down and lift. One more time and lift. Open into your warrior two. Sit a little bit lower. So now we're going to come into our side angle. So left arm, right ear, left arm, left thigh, right bicep by right ear. Now we're going to bring our hands to heart center and we're going to shift into our skandasana to the right. And then we're going to slide back in 
to our side angle. And then we're gonna slide back into the skandasana. And one more time back into our side angle. Last time skandasana. And then we exit into warrior two. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Straighten your left leg. Squeeze your inner thighs, find power in your legs. Reach your left arm forward, coming into triangle, reaching your right arm up. Breathe here. Bring your right hand to your right hip. Bend your left knee. Shift your weight into half moon. Using a block under your arm, that helps you keep your spine nice and straight. Breathe here. Bend your left knee, exit into warrior two. Cartwheel your hands down. Step back to plank. Travel through your vinyasa. And we will meet in downward facing dog. Breathe here. Float your right leg up behind you. Bend your right knee, open your hip. And then square your hip, step your right foot all the way forward, high lunge. Tap the left knee down, lift it back up. Tap the left knee, lift it up. Tap and straighten. Open into your warrior two. Sit a little bit lower. Bring your right arm to your right thigh, reach your left arm all the way up, side angle. Sit your right hip deeper. Now draw your hands to heart center as you shift your weight into your left leg, flex your right toes, skandasana. Now flow back into that side angle, reaching your left arm up. Shift into your skandasana. Back into your side angle. And back into that skandasana. Beautiful. Come back into warrior two. Turn your right palm up. Exhale back, peaceful warrior. Straighten your right leg. Shift your right arm all the way forward, coming into triangle. Strengthening your legs. Reaching your left arm up, right hand on shin, block, or floor. And now bring your left hand to your left hip. Reach your right hand out to the outer edge of your mat, onto a block if you have it. And then float your left foot up, coming into half moon. If it's available, reach your left arm up to the sky. Breathe here. Bend your right knee, exit back into warrior two. Cartwheel your hands down, step back to plank, go through your version of your vinyasa, and we will meet in downward facing dog. Breathe here. All right, float your right leg up behind you, draw your right knee in, coming into pigeon. Slide your left leg back. Don't go all the way down yet, all right? Let's stay up here, heart open. And now bring your right forearm down to the mat. Bend your left leg and reach back. Sorry, bring your left forearm to the mat. Bend your left leg, reach back with your right arm. Much better. So this is a twist as you reach back for that foot. If you can't reach the foot, no worries. Breathe here. And now release the left leg, coming onto both forearms. And if you want, lower yourself further down into your pigeon pose. Breathing here, nice and deep, slowing it down, using blocks or props if you need them.
Extend your left leg back just a little bit further. And feel your hips start to open. If you have a block or a prop, remove that. Come back up to your hands. Exit into your downward facing dog. Pedal your down dog out, right, left, left, right. Slide your left knee up towards your left wrist. Extend your right leg back behind you. Bring your right forearm down to the mat. Bend your right leg. Reach back with your left arm if that's available. Finding the twist. Looking over the left shoulder. And even if you can't connect the foot and the hand, at least reach back for it so that you're finding this twist. And then slowly release. Coming all the way into your full pigeon, whatever that expression is for you. So maybe your head is on a block or you've made a stack with your hands. Extend the right leg back behind you just a little bit more to get a little bit deeper, a little bit more opening. Start to remove any props. Coming all the way back up. Curl your right toes. Step yourself back into a downward facing dog. Breathe here. Pull forward into high plank. Reach your heels back, the crown of your head forward. If you need to lower your knees down, absolutely go ahead. If not, I want you to lower yourself down to a slow count of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stomach on the mat. Reach your arms back behind you again, palms facing up. We're gonna lift our chest and torso up off the back. Fingertips reaching towards the heels, tops of the feet pressing down into the mat. Take one more breath here. And then exhale your forehead back down to the mat. You can turn your cheek to the mat, shake your hips out. This time interlace your fingers behind your back, bring your forehead back to the mat. And now inhale, lift up your chest. Reach your knuckles back towards your heels, lifting them away from your back. And then release down, bringing the other cheek to the mat and shake your hips out. If you're ready to try bow, we're gonna bring our foreheads back to the mat. We're gonna bend both feet, reach for the outer edges of the feet as close to the ankles as possible. Your forehead is down on the mat. Start kicking your feet into your hands so that as you push your feet into your hands, it lifts your chest and torso off the ground. Once that is lifted, start to lift your thighs reaching your toes up to the ceiling, finding the stretch through your chest, but also the compression in the back bend. One more breath here, and then slowly release, coming all the way down, cheek on the mat. Gently rock side to side. You'll have an option to do that one more time or any of the other versions that we've done. So bend both feet, reach back 
close to the ankles as possible, preferably the shoelace portion of the foot. Kick your feet into your hands so that you start to pull your chest up and then lift your thighs up off the mat. Breathing here, gazing forward. One more round of breath and then slowly release. Coming all the way down, cheek on the mat. And breathe. Bringing your hands underneath your shoulders, you're gonna press yourself up into tabletop, crossing your ankles, shifting yourself back into your seated position. Slide your feet onto the mat, knees pointing up to the ceiling, reach your arms out. We're gonna lower down to a slow count of 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Draw both knees into the chest, holding onto the outer edges of your kneecaps. Now straighten your arms, pressing your knees into your hands, finding some stretch. Counter stretch to those back bends. Hold your right knee in across the shin. Extend your left knee away from you. And then gently guide the right knee over to the left, opening the right arm out, coming into a recline twist. And come back to center, hug both knees into the chest. Stir your knees around in one direction and then switch directions. And now hug the left knee and extend the right leg away from you. And draw the right knee across the body. Extend the left arm open. Gaze over the left shoulder. Come back onto your back, hug both knees into your armpits. Extend for your feet if you wanna take a happy baby or any other last minute type of stretch that you would like to have here. And then slowly lie back down, extending one leg and then the other, extending one arm and then the other. Take a big inhale, filling your body up with air, and then exhale it all out, letting your body get heavy. Bring your energy and attention to your feet and your toes. Squeeze every muscle in your toe together, tighten up your feet, crunch them together, squeeze, and then let them go, shake them out. Let them relax. Bring your energy and attention to your legs, to your shins, your calves, your knees, your thighs. Squeeze every muscle in your leg together, tightening them up, tensing them, squeeze, and then let it go. Shake it out, let it relax. Bring your energy and attention and focus to your hips, to your glutes, to your waist. Tighten that whole center part of your body, squeezing it all and feeling yourself lift up off the mat. And then exhale, let it go. Shake it out, let it relax. 
Bring your attention and focus to your hands. Place your thumb in your palm. Wrap your fingers around your thumb. Squeeze it in. Hold it together. And then let it go. Shake your fingers out. Let them relax. Bring your attention and focus to your arms, to your forearms, your elbows, your biceps, your triceps. Squeeze and tense every single muscle in your arms together. Tighten them up and then let them go. Shake them out. Let them relax. Bring your attention and focus to your shoulders and your chest. Tighten your chest. Squeeze your shoulders and tense it all up squeezing it in even more, and then let it go, let it relax. Bring your energy, attention, and focus to your neck, to your face, to your head. Tense up the muscles in your neck, scrunch up the muscles in your face, squeeze your eyes closed, purse your lips, pinch your cheeks, and then let it go. Shake it out, let it relax. From the top of your head all the way down to your toes, engage and tense every single muscle. Become aware of everything in your body, squeezing it in towards the center, tensing it up, and now let it go. Shake it out. Let it relax. Let your body sink into the mat. as you move into stillness. We'll stay here for a couple minutes, at which point I will say good night and you are welcome to stay in your Shavasana for as long as you would like. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy your practice. Stay until you're done your Shavasana. I will see you next week. Namaste.